Welcome back, guys. So we're at it once again tonight. This time, instead of being on the uh, Neo Geo Mini, we're actually on a legit Neo Geo system, which I can't, I don't think I could pick it up. No, I'm not going to bother trying to pick it up. But we are running the Neo SD flash cart for the Neo Geo. I will be using the Neo, oh, that's cool. The green screen is uh, clearing out, transparent. The green button on my uh, Neo Geo pad here. But this is uh, the Neo Geo CD pad. I use these all the time on my AES. Definitely really love the Neo Geo. And I figured why not today do some Neo SD messing around. See what we got here. I think I got pretty much uh, the complete library of games for the most part, I think, on here. Uh, the way this works... Um, without going into extreme detail This is flash card. It's got some flash memory there So you could load up on your micro SD card all the games that you want to have access to and You could flash one game So it would act as if it was like almost like a real cartridge just plug it in and you could play there's different options on how uh, you could have this set up and work, but for this version, I know there's a pro version that's uh, in the works that you can have five games flashed at once. So it's not so much like, oh, you, you can't have access to all the games. It's just you have to reflash the games. And depending upon how big the game is, it could take a moment. So in this menu here, you see load is A. We could, we could load up a game. Uh, B is option. C is filter. Uh, C, you could just... Um, kind of filter by favorites and you know different uh different things there so we're not we're not really bothering with that anyway um b is options so boot mode with boot mode you can have it just where the system will instantly boot to the menu where you could select a game um if you have it set the game it just boots into whatever game you flashed i leave it the menu typically um and then you do have that in-game trigger to go to the menu uh, right now it's a d and start cartridge mode not 100 percent what that means cartridge mode i have to look that one up but that's pretty much it nothing major in there so if we go to launch um a d start hold on a sec if we go to just launch the current game which i believe is uh, samurai showdown 5 special it'll just boot up like a regular game pretty sweet stuff and we are using um in order to, to display this and whatnot i'm using the retro tank 2x uh we have it just on let me make sure it's on 2x mode yep it's on 2x mode Yeah, Samurai Showdown 5. This, this is a pretty cool game. It's not my top favorite Samurai Showdown. Oh, you bastard. Oh. oh my god, it depends on which side he's on, man. I'm getting getting wrecked there with that move. I should have been doing the uh his little uh I always say like a dragon punch, right? Whatever the hell it is. What the hell is it called? Oh my god. What's up, Mixo? Oh, he got me. Um. 
Not really my character there, but let's go back to the Neo SD menu. Just wanted to showcase that working. Uh, whatever you have flashed, that's the game that will launch um, if you launch current game. But we have access to everything, um, and I'll show you in real time this uh, loading up. So let's let's select a Blazing Star, for example. Um, I'm not sure how big of a game Blazing Star is, but you'll see it's gonna. You know, this is almost like okay, let's let's relax for a minute. It's gonna erase the other game, which was Samurai Showdown Five, and then it's gonna flash Blazing Star. So this is a very very expensive flash cart. Um, very capable. It, you know, if you got one game flash to it, and that's the game you want to play for a while. Cool, but it can be um, inconvenient for some because you do have to wait. If you have that game that you just want to keep playing, you're good. But when you want to keep changing games, this is not going to be uh, one of those things that you have. You know, if you're impatient, de definitely the Neo SD is uh, going to be annoying. So I know the Neo SD Pro, the newer version that I don't know 100% when it's coming out. Um, I've talked to a few people, but don't know for sure. I was told maybe a year, maybe less, but nobody, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, <laughs> but the, the Pro version, you can have up to five games flashed at once, from what I understand. And the flashing time, the memory, the, 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 the access, all that stuff is a lot faster than this version. Um, I know there's a video out there, and I'll link it uh, a little later on after this video is uploaded showcasing that but yeah as you see it's taking a moment to load uh, you know erase samurai showdown and then uh <laughs> it loaded it's loading up a blazing uh blazing star the game beaters the pickle story yeah i know right and there we go it's booted up but like i said this device is not for the impatient, the person who wants to swap games around. It's not like using a, um, a flash cart for the Super Nintendo. No, it's not like using an EverDrive or an SD2 SNES. It's, you know, a little more, a little more to it. But it's well worth it though, because like Samurai Showdown 5, for example, how much does the legitimate cart for that go, go for? Thousands of dollars, man. Who do we want? We'll take her. It's for old timers. Is a Neo Geo worth getting? How much is a console? Um. Get ready. Now, is it worth getting? Only if you really love Neo Geo. The console itself, you could find consoles for a couple hundred bucks. That might seem like a lot of money to some, and it might be, but couple hundred dollars for Neo Geo, but then when you're looking at the price for controllers, the price for games, for the AES there are a lot of games that are fairly cheap, uh, and when I say fairly cheap I mean a hundred dollars or less, that's that's the price point, that's the, uh, you don't know where you're looking Bobby, there's, there's, uh, there's some uh, groups out there and shops that sell uh, that sell Neo Geos for about a couple hundred bucks. That's what I spent for mine, dude. You gotta know where to look. I'm not I'm not saying just, you know, these these dudes selling uh, from the US selling a system. They're gonna upcharge you like uh, you know quite a bit. But if you're going Japan direct, uh, you know the Japanese uh, uh, Yahoo uh, auctions and stuff like that. You'll you'll find systems for the couple hundred dollar range, or if you know certain places. But yeah, I didn't yeah I didn't spend like that kind of money for mine. Um, but the games are, are very pricey if you're getting into collecting. If you want this flash cart, the flash cart's five hundred dollars. I could not afford it. I actually um, wound up making some deals, selling some some. Uh, some consoles that I had. I actually sold several consoles that I had 
in a bunch of games just to buy this flash card. That crazy. What up, Dwayne Hurst? Collect for Neo Geo. I'm not, I'm not even looking at the game. I'm sitting here dying. Collect for Neo Geo or buy groceries to survive. Exactly. Yeah, it's one of the more pricey uh, flash carts out there. What up, Death Row? It's definitely Neo Geo is not, you know, the AES, the AES, the home console, is a pricey system to collect for. Uh, the arcade system, the MVS, quite a bit cheaper. You could find games for a fraction of the cost, and they um, are essentially the same games. Um, so you could get consoleized MVS, uh, or just an MVS, you know, arcade unit, and buy cartridges for it, and the cartridges are a heck of a lot cheaper. Now there still are some that are going to be pricey, especially if you're getting them complete in a box with, uh, mark, the, the mini marquees and the, uh, the little button layout things and all that stuff. Uh, you know, some of those can fetch a premium for sure. But the MVS is a hell of a lot cheaper to collect for. And they're the same games. They're, they're seriously the same games. Like if you have a Unibios on an AES or an MVS, you could run the games either way you want. But do, you su do I suggest getting an Omega over an AES? I've never had experience with the Omega. I've had experience with the... Uh, the, the CMVS from China, which was like 180 bucks at the time. I think it's a lot more now, maybe another hundred on top of that. Um, but very similar thing. Uh, I can't speak to what Omega, you know, Arcade Works or whatever. I can't speak to what they do. I was in contact with them to buy one, but the communication was kind of lacking. And that's what led me to getting the uh, the CMVS instead. But I wound up getting rid of that. Um, it did it did uh, it did cause me issues with my my OSSC, uh, which essentially was you know my fault, I guess. But <laughs> you know it, it's you know a lot of people had ideas why that happened. But if you're buying something like that and you're not using it with a with a OSSC, there's nothing to worry about. Um, I'm pretty sure if I would have just used it with uh, with component, it would have been fine. Nothing would have happened. But it was just that RGB um, issue. But I was trying to be as honest as I could about that situation. I wasn't 100% exactly what happened. A lot of people reached out to me to try to help or explain possibly what happened, but we're all over that, man. We're all over that. What up, one up woman? Appreciate you stopping in. Appreciate everybody who's stopped in for the second stream today. Let me catch up on what people are saying. Dwayne, great work, man, on your themes. Of course. Uh, Dwayne does awesome work. Tons of awesome themes. You guys got to check his channel out for all the stuff he's uh, doing. Um, AES has composite out or RF. Um, it has composite. I'm not sure about RF. I know composite. Mine came with composite cables. Um, but I am using, right now what I'm using on my AES is the uh, HD Retrovision cables with the Neo Geo adapter. So I'm using component, and I'm I've got that uh, I've got that plugged into the uh, RetroTINK 2X. I'm 2X mode. I'm gonna scroll back down, make sure. I'm... But I mean, if you're if you're you know, people have asked if you're really in the Neo Geo and you want that. Oh crap! I shouldn't have done that. If you want, you know, legitimate games and you want to play on real hardware, definitely a consoleized uh, MVS is the way to go, I think. Just the, the reason being is, you know, yeah, some of the consoleized MVSs are going to be more expensive than buying a uh, an actual AES, unless you're getting, you know, a deal on one or you know how to put one together yourself. 
or you know there's some kind of awesome deal going on like the uh, CMVSs when they were 180 80 bucks or whatever they were uh, just because the games are cheaper and they're the same damn games we're playing uh, uh, Blaze Star what up Andrew oh my god are you serious uh, let's 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 switch to Hellhound but we were just displaying a little while ago using the uh, Neo SD, you know, reflashing a game, kind of how the menu system works. Uh, and it's it's a pretty cool device to have. I do have um, 10 games for my AES. I don't have a ton of games, and all the games I have are fairly cheaper games. I have a... Uh, I have, like, Nam, uh, World Heroes, World Heroes 2... Um, Samurai Showdown 1, 2, 3, and 4 of the first four Samurai Showdowns and a few other games. Can't remember exactly what I got right now. Most of them I got for a decent price. Uh, Samurai Showdown 3, I have not opened it. It's actually a sealed copy. But I never never really, never really liked Samurai Showdown 3 um, as much as the others, especially 2 and 4. 2 and 4 are actually my favorites. Two, I played the crap out of in the arcade. Five is, is fun too, but there's no way I can afford a legit cartridge. I think I said it on the earlier stream. I seen a repro, a used repro of Samurai Showdown Five Special sell for like five, six hundred bucks. That's crazy for a for a repro. Yeah, I think we got a bonus. I think we got a bunch of bonuses. Oh crap. Didn't I have like a... Let's uh, get out of there. Let's get out of there. Who's buying this stuff? But that's a dope game. Uh, Blazing Star's definitely good. Let's see, what else? What would you guys like to see? Just name a, a Neo Geo game and we'll... Uh, We'll jump into one. Well, we won't exactly jump into one because it does take a moment uh, to load up unless it's the game we already have uh, flashed to memory. Yeah, the Garu Mark of the Wolves. We've been play we played that uh, quite a bit earlier. Ninja Commando. That might be a good one. Mark of the Wolves, we, we played like an hour ago. We played it for like off and on for like an hour. Kazuna Encounter was pretty fun. Somebody suggested that in a previous stream. I gotta turn my speaker up. Let's see, no, I appreciate it. Uh, Much Bueno. I'm not sure how to say your first name, but no, I appreciate the suggestion. But not that I'm burned out on the game. It's just we streamed it quite a bit a little while ago. I just want to kind of change it up. Ninja Commando. That's the uh, that's the only suggestion so far. So Nightmare in the Dark is pretty fun. Ninja Commando. Magician Lord. Oh my God. Ninja Commando or Magician Lord. How's the Neo SD so far? It's cool. I've had it for a while, but I think this is the first time I've uh, this is the first time I've I've streamed it or showcased on a video. I think I don't think I've used this on any videos, but I've had it for for quite a while now. Ninja Commando, Magician Lord, King of Monsters, Shock Troopers, Mutant Nation, NC Ninja, play Nightmare. Nightmare, um, <laughs> Nightmare in the Dark is 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 an interesting one. Um, we have to. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, 
I'm going to go with Dwayne's suggestion here. This is going to take a moment. You can see live. I don't know how big this game is. I don't think it's very big, but it takes a minute to flash. Um, but I, I owe Dwayne a lot, so I'm going to go with his suggestion, and then we'll play this for a minute, and then we'll go check out another game that you guys want to see. Uh, did you get rid of the CMVS? Yeah, I got rid of it. Um, I had offers for it, like right after I put that video up. I had people asking uh, if I'd be willing to sell it or trade it, so... I actually traded it um, with a viewer of mine for, for something else um, that actually worked out for both of us. <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> Jump, fire, fire. Okay, like, okay. This is like Snow Brothers, all right? That's, that's kind of why I like this game. Son of a... Whew. Just like Snow Bros. Yeah, somebody actually um, sent me an OSSC. Like a... I, it was like a couple weeks after, but yeah. It got replaced. I think I talked about it in the uh, the Facebook group. Thanks to whoever just subscribed. I'm gonna turn the speaker down a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm not 100% on the history of this game. It's it's pretty fun, but it's to me it's 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 a little more sluggish than Snow Brothers, but it's still a pretty cool game. Same potion. The dancing Mario is mesmerizing. Oh, I mean, I, I changed up some of the um, the animations for like donations and stuff. Like we got text to speech going on, and then uh, actually the animations for donations are uh, Samurai Showdown uh, animations. Not not pressuring anybody to donate, but it is uh, appreciated and definitely welcome. But yeah, I've been just kind of messing around with a lot of stuff with. Uh, Stream Labs and OBS, trying to figure out some stuff, because uh, I do plan on streaming quite a bit more coming up. Um, especially now that it should start getting cooler. <laughs> but I thought that Dancing Mario was kind of cool, so I wanted to throw that on the, uh, <laughs> the subscriber thing. Oh, is this boss fight time? Oh, snap. Come on. The first time I ever played this game was actually on RetroPie. <laughs> oh, give me that. Nearby in Highland, huh? That's what I'm talking about. I used to work in Highland years ago. Ooh, give me all that. Give me that meat. I, I worked at uh, San Manuel in the accounting. Um, that was like in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, when it was just a bingo hall, pretty much, with some slot machines and table games. Grab the meat! Oh, I was trying to get that sack. Oh, 
Ooh, give me that po- did I already get this potion? Yeah. This is a pretty cool game, though. I know there was a lot of us, no brothers clones, but this one's, this one's pretty good. And I am playing this game in 4x3 aspect ratio on my TV, but in stream, it is stretched, so I do apologize for that for those who, uh, damn, who care about, uh, aspect, maintaining original aspect ratios. What is this skull? Does that give me some kind of, dang it, okay, I need that potion, come on, run, fool. Range up. Range up is good, but the, uh, speed is what I want. The Nintendo Power video, yes. The Nintendo Power video, you know, I uploaded it yesterday. Um, and I, I knew a lot of people weren't gonna watch it, but it was just something I was interested in doing. But I found it funny, like, you know, the views that I got on that versus the views for me streaming an hour ago. Like, I got more views on my stream than I did on a video I uploaded yesterday. <laughs> But I, I kind of I kind of expected that. I didn't think as many people would be interested um, in watching me talk about a Nintendo Power issue. But I enjoyed it, so I don't really care about the views as much. I'm gonna continue doing it uh, just because I thought it was pretty fun. Love Nintendo Power, man. I, I have a, a decent little stack of them. Hopefully, I can get more. But I'm gonna continue that probably once a week. Um, it's not a tough video to make, obviously. There's not much editing going on, but it does take me a while. Yeah, I look forward to Nintendo uh, Nintendo Power every month. I, Man, like I said in that video, Nintendo Power, not just Nintendo Power, but, you know, all those game magazines from back in the day. Like, that was how we got our news, man. That, that was, ooh, I gotta get that. Oh, crap. Um, that's just how we, we learned about everything coming up. Oh, I took that. I'm not going back down there. EGM, I, I had a, you know, I had a subscription to Nintendo Power the longest out of any magazine. Um, but I also subscribed to EGM and GamePro, um, for a while. The one that I got burned on was, uh, I don't know if this was exactly what it was called, but it was the Dreamcast magazine. Um, they had a magazine for Dreamcast. And I remember it went out of publication and I just like barely renewed my subscription. Which was a shame. Um, I renewed my subscription for the Dreamcast magazine. And uh, unfortunately, I never got my money back for that. Ooh, oh, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize... I didn't realize you can fall through there and just jump back up. Yeah, I just, I remember, I don't remember how long the Dreamcast magazine was, was, uh, damn it, was going on for, but I know I subscribed to it fairly early on and then it just disappeared. What are you playing right now? Nightmare in the Dark on the uh, Neo Geo AES. Yes, continue. Dude, this boss, like, you really, like, you get stuck in this corner and you just get killed. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Give me, give me the meat. Oh, got it. Okay, we got one of each potion. The Nintendo Power Strategy Guides. I got a, a few of them, but those those were definitely cool. The Deep Forest Stage Three, the NES Game Atlas. I've got a, a couple of those uh, special ones. The Atlas and uh, I don't know. I got to look at them, but I know I got a few of them. I got a couple of them at least. Oh, son of a! Mm. So now because of that, I lost all my power ups. Thanks a lot, you stupid ghosts. GamePro is definitely cool. Um, I mean, what magazines do we got now? I typically, like, I'll look at Retro Gamer or whatever it's called, uh, but it's imp an import magazine from uh, the UK. Uh, like, I'll get those, but they, they cost like 20 bucks an issue in the US. Um, and 
don't, you know, I get Game Informer, but I don't really, I don't really look at Game Informer too much. I know I just got the recent issue, I just threw it away after I skimmed through it. Oh! Oh, okay, I thought that was lost, man. The Raspberry Pi magazine, I have a few issues of them. Um, I think they're pretty cool. I don't remember which specific one I was getting, but I like them just for the little projects and stuff they would put in there. Like, whenever I go to Barnes & Noble, I always check what uh, Raspberry Pi magazines there are, like Magpie or whatever. Dude, this ghost is brutal. Get him! Son of a... Hell yeah, walking another late night school night stream. Salutations from Puerto Rico. What up, man? Remember to blink. Am I not blinking, man? <laughs> I remember years ago, man, like, me and my wife, we were, we were standing in line, um, damn it, at, like, a Kmart or something? I don't remember where, I think it was, like, Kmart, and, uh, there was this lady with a little kid in a, in the cart, like, the little kid, maybe a year old or something, uh, we used all our credits, maybe a year old sitting in the, uh, the shopping basket. My kid was just staring at us, I swear, for like five minutes straight without blinking. I was like, what? MVS card? What? We're, we're, in a, we're on an AES with uh, the Neo SD. Okay, so we played that till what? Almost the next boss. Damn it. Um, the glasses don't do your blinks justice, bro. Yeah, I'm probably not a uh, LSD is good. What? What other game? So we checked out Nightmare in the Dark. That was a pretty cool game. Taking any other suggestions you guys got. I know we had a, uh, what, nin Ninja... Ninja... Uh, ninja what? Ninja Combat or Ninja Commando? Which, which was, what was the suggestion? But yeah, I don't do drugs, man. The most I do is a little tiny bit of nicotine here. And maybe once or twice a month I'll have some, some kind of alcohol. You can get the MVS flash carts only a hundred bucks or less. Yeah, this this uh the the Neo SD AES was about five hundred dollars. The MVS, when I looked at it, that, you know, through Stone Age Gamer anyway, it wasn't a whole lot cheaper at the time, but this was a while ago. Man, these headphones are, like, bothering my... Take it easy on the vape. It could do a number on your lungs, man. I've been vaping long enough. I actually was in the vape business for a couple years. Um, no offense, but I'm a grown-up. <laughs> I owned a vape shop for a few years, got me off smoking cigarettes, I'm a big boy, don't worry about me. Looking at these buttons. Okay, B, we can we can we can flop around. Oh snap! Okay, the the C button is special. All right, let's just get into this, man. Why do I have this set to uh, uh, 
Japanese. Did my memory card come ajar? I do have the um, my BIOS settings saved to my Neo Geo memory card here, but if you move it, it doesn't like if you slightly move it. I might have moved it when I when I uh, damn it, and I just dropped it. You don't want to drop these things. Um, I probably slightly moved it and it didn't make connection because I, I typically have the system set to a uh, Euro, the European region. A Dreamcast stream. I don't see why not, right? Oh, they got meats in this game too. Yeah, most of the, the mods out there are safe to use. Just gotta make sure you're using proper batteries. Oh, I'm a, I'm a tiger. Give me that meat. What's up with this dude? Did I just die or was that a... Oh yeah, I died. I'm an idiot. I've never played this game before. Huh. Hadouken! Did we get him? Oh, snap. Oh, there's the team. There's the commando team. <laughs> Do you smoke cigars? I do not. I don't. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I don't. I don't know what these guys are saying. But you know what? I'm kind of interested. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this off, and reboot, and see if my bio settings. No, damn it! Wonder what the hell happened. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. There we go. Uh, Euro. Do arcade mode so we can add credits. There, we're on free play now, and we're in English. I'm gonna play as her, Ray R. Let's do it, come on. Oh snap. This game is definitely cool. I don't know why I've never, uh, I may have played this before, I just don't remember, but maybe I didn't give it much time, but this is pretty sweet, man. This is a pretty sweet game. Oh crap, I didn't mean to hit that. Thoughts on Billy Mitchell. I don't know, man. I don't want to... I'm not... I don't want to just jump on the bandwagon of hating a guy. Uh, you know, I've met him a handful of times. I mean, I'm, I don't know. It's 
not a friend or anything. I don't really care about the guy. I think he's kind of cool sometimes, but I mean, the whole controversy with him, I don't know. I thought that was like kind of old news now, like nobody's really talking about it anymore. Dang, we killed that fool quick, what the hell? Yeah, uh, I mean, Billy Mitchell's been proving that he can uh, he can get those scores. I've watched some of his streams. You know, I don't. I'm, I'm not the kind of person that just says, "Oh, screw this guy. I hate him" or anything like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm just indifferent. I know the guy's a skilled player. I don't know what to think about with uh, the whole controversy of uh, cheating and all that. I think some of the stuff was a little sideways talk with his uh, Road to Redemption stuff, but oh, it is what it is. Life goes on. You know, the, the thing is, is, oh my god. With, uh, with, you know, him and getting caught up in all that, you know, he, he's, he's gotten, you know, his fair share of hate for it, which is fine, but... You know, people have, you know, sent death threats and, you know, weird crap like that. I think that's definitely crossing the line. Get out of here, caveman. What do you think of the second batch? The second batch of, um... The second no time to come of the Brawler 64 controller. I'll tell you what I feel about it. That that link right there is exactly what I feel about it. Because I already did a video on the second batch of the Brawler 64 controllers. So if you want to peep that out, that is my redo review on the second batch. I was just looking for the link before I said anything. Oh, you bastard. Wait, should I be killing these cavemen that are just like... Like, bowing down and praying for their lives? Oh, no. Let's... Okay, save to the memory card. I don't care about all that. I wanted to continue. It didn't let me continue. Oh my god. I thought it was on free play. Well, we get to load our game, right? Did I did I get the Super NT? Yes, sir. It's right here. I've done a lot of content on the Super NT. Destroying these cavemen. Is that guy gonna? Oh, I thought that was a banana for a second. Dude had a boomerang. Is that a triceratops coming at us? like throwing his, his cave people brothers at me. What the hell kind of nonsense is that? I wonder why this uh, free play is not, um, I don't know, we'll figure it out.
Give me those bananas. Oh, die! I want to see the boss be a bonk from Bonk's Adventure. Yes, I'm. I'm. Whoa, get out of here with that! I'm really hoping Analog's working on uh, an FPGA Genesis. That would be awesome for sure. Oh, let me see what the chat's going on. Oh shit! Oh. Dude, he's got robotic arms or legs. Oh crap, did you hear that scream? Push start. Did we get him? Yes! No, I'm not putting any money down on the uh, Poly Mega. That's a big Poly Nope for me at the moment. That's pretty strong. I want a uh, FPGA Neo Geo. They already spent 500k from investors. That's nuts, man. I don't know. I need to wait and see what happens with all that. I'm very uh, skeptical on the things that they've been doing. Is are we in more like cave people stuff? Oh snap! There's the used car salesman guy again. Oh, let me get that meats. Oh, shit. Yeah, come, come at me with that. You ain't getting me with that. The villain's Vince McMahon. Oh, give me that. Uh-oh, what are we fighting here? Ugh. Crap, is this the, uh... Are we playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors? Wasn't there a level in Zombies Ate My Neighbors with mummies? Oh, I didn't want to pick him. Yes. Later, Country Cletus. Yeah, I'm typically one... I don't mind spending money for, you know, to review stuff. Um, especially to get the word out on, you know, what I feel. But with a Polymega, I just, I'm not going to drop the money on it right now. I'm, you know, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to take that chance. I wish I could. If I just had, if I had the money, I would order one just to be able to review it. But, oh crap. But yeah, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to gamble my money on that right now. I'm, I'm going to wait and see. Oh crap, dead again? Do I get to continue? Yes. Oh, get out of here with those lightning bolts, dude! I need some meat. Oh crap, I don't know what this boss is doing. Oh, I don't have a special. Oh. Oh my god. I want to use her. She seemed pretty good. Let me blast him. I don't... I, tr I tried ordering... Um, oops, that's why I screwed up the last time. I tried ordering from their website, but my... Um, whenever... Whenever I try to order from um, Crix, like his website, or Terra Onion... Um, both of those websites, my my bank will refuse the charge um, and say it's like a fraudulent thing. And then I'll call them and they'll say, okay, it's good. Um, you can go ahead and, and reattempt. And then I reattempt and it's the same thing, it declines. So I just, you know, I was like, damn it. Like I wanted the Super uh, SD System 3 a while back. Um, I had the money at a, you know, one point I wanted to get it, but I couldn't get it from their website. So I was wait, you know, I just get everything from Stone Age Gamer. Um, but, you know, I've not ordered from any of those guys just because my bank has been, you know, a bunch of Nazis about that kind of stuff. 
But, um, yeah, I do have kids. Son of a bitch. I mean, other people have had a fine time ordering from them, but just for me, I could it, my bank just wouldn't let me, and I just gave up. I'm sure I could have raised, you know, a stink about it. Crix is selling some stuff, because I was going to order the, the Genesis controller from him, but it wouldn't let me. I've seen this place, but it looks like he's going to throw that Ninja Star at her face. Out of here with that. Do they retro game with me? Ah, uh, occasionally. Occasionally. They're so into, you know, newer stuff, but, you know, they do appreciate the older games. Like my, my middle son, um, he really likes Pac Man. So any day, like if you're like, hey, let's play, uh, let's play Pac Man or Miss Pac Man, like the old school stuff, he'll play it. Um, but they'll, they'll play like, Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that, but they're more into playing a Nintendo Switch or the uh, or the Xbox One, playing Minecraft, uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, all that stuff. Oh, I did it again, where I wasn't paying attention to the continue. Oh my god. Did I save the game at that spot or no? Dude, we're gonna switch games. I thought we were like, oh wait, like, let me see where we're at. No, we started all the way back at the dinosaur crap. Damn it! Ah, uh, that's what happens when you're looking at the chat and just pressing buttons. Oh well. I had a business account for a while, but we shut it down um, when we stopped the, the one business that we had. When we dissolved the business. Alright, what else should we play? We played that for a while. I wish I could. I wish I wouldn't have screwed up there. Um, I should have been paying attention to the free play. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> These headphones are killing me here. Hurting my ears. The hell is my the Neo Geo Mini still on? Power off, bro. Power off. Oops. I'm getting tangled up. I'm getting tangled up, guys. No, let's get out of that. Damn, I keep hitting the table. We played Ninja Commando, Nightmare in the Dark. Magical drop is fun. When the new 8-bit though controllers, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into them too much other than um, when they first were shown. I kind of looked at them. Are you on the classic gaming discord where Kevtris hangs out? No, I am not. I'm I've not really messed with uh, discord at all. I have a discord, but I don't think like, I had a Discord for my Patreon, then I had a, a another one, but I always had issues with figuring out how it worked. Um, I'm still trying to get that set up properly. Super Dodgeball is fun. Super Dodgeball is really fun. Twinkle Star Sprites? Is that what we're talking about? Let's try that one. Let's try that one out, guys. It's flashing. It's not taking too long here. But definitely not for patient people using this flash cart.
SDD1 might be coming to <coughs> the SD2 SNES soon. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm, you know, my thing, my thing with uh, Discord and stuff like that is I never really embraced like online interactions um, as far as like social media and stuff like that only until recently. Like I was just kind of anti-online social, I guess, if you would call it that. Like I just, I never really wanted to do that kind of stuff and then you know now you know i have the facebook group and all that stuff because uh you know a lot of my viewers were like hey you know do you have social media and i was like no i don't use it and you know they were like hey you know it'd be cool to be able to interact and communicate and you know have a community going so that's why i started all that it was just something i got into very late i guess um Cool, we can add credits here. But Discord is something I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Any idea when the pro version is coming out? From the last time I asked some people about it, they said it was at minimum a year from now, and that was like a month or two ago. But I don't know how true that is. Oh, you son of a... Take that. I keep seeing those animated characters that are on the, uh, the background and it's kind of, um, distracting me a little bit. Like these bees, I keep thinking they're enemies. Some slowdown. Oops. Oh. Boom. I mean, I'm playing this game, but I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I know I'm trying to beat the, uh, the computer. Fuck. Would you have an issue if FPGA Genesis didn't support 32X Sega CD? I would hope there would be support for that, but I don't know, man. Like at minimum the 32X, even though you know I could live without the 32X to be honest. Sega CD, I don't know, man. Like there's a lot of cool stuff for Sega CD, but if I had to deal with like okay, Sega Genesis and it supports, you know, 32X but not Sega CD, but down the road it would. I think I could deal with that. But it also would need to support Master System would be one of the big things as well. Um, because the Sega Genesis has Master System built into it essentially, so uh, most of the Sega Genesis can play Sega Master System. So I would kind of hope that an FPGA Sega Genesis supported Master System as well. Favorite original Game Boy games? Probably uh, Metroid 2, Final Fantasy Adventure, uh, Snow Brothers on the Game Boy, Killer Instinct. Uh, man, I have a bunch of Game Boy games. Um, I did like the Final Fantasy Legends. You know, they were... Uh, they were saga games. They're not really Final Fantasy games.
everyone seems super chill. Typically, yeah. Occasionally not, but... For the most part, everybody's cool. Eric, no problem, man. Yeah, PlayStation Image is uh, one of my favorites. The Darksoft multi-cart? No. I've not... I've not really followed it. I've looked it up, but... A Game Boy stream. We could do a Game Boy stream another day. What would you want to see uh, streamed? Um, I do have a Game Boy EverDrive and a bunch of Game Boy games, but... What would you like to see on Game Boy? I'll plan a stream for Game Boy. Kevtris has already worked on a, a 32x FPGA core. That's sweet. Did not know that. How big is the PS1 image? 256 gigabytes. Oh, okay. We're talking, we're talking Game Boy, and I didn't say Legend of Zelda: um, Link's Awakening. Oh my God, Link's Awakening. This is this. I know this is not a Nintendo stream, guys. But. Oh, we got BR Nexus uh, putting out some corrections there. Let me keep an eye on what you got to say. Sounds like you got some uh, good information. Um, but this is probably not going to be the most popular opinion. But my all-time favorite Legend of Zelda games. A lot of people will always say Ocarina of Time. And yes, it's an amazing game. But my two favorite, my top... I'll tell you what my top three is, and yes, Ocarina Time is in there, but it's not number one. It's not number two, it's number three. My first favorite is Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo, and my second favorite is Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. I love that damn game, man. Ocarina Time, great game, yes, but not my top favorite. Third, I would say, third. Link to the Past, first top favorite Legend of Zelda game of all time, and then Link's Awakening. I know Link's Awakening is a fairly short game, but I really enjoy it. Minish Cap is pretty awesome as well. Those images should not be hard to find. You could, you could uh, find most of them on Arcade Punks from what I understand. My favorite Zelda will never be 3D. Yeah, my... I mean, I'm not an issue with 3D Legend of Zelda games, but definitely uh, Link to the Past and Link's Awakening are my favorites. Ochi, Ochi, my sweats. These little Kirby looking. Frickin' clouds, man. A Zelda amusement park in the works. What? It's unpopular, but your favorite is Zelda 2 The Adventure Link. It's not a bad game. I remember renting it and not knowing that it was going to be different than the uh, original Legend of Zelda. And um, I was still pleasantly surprised. I was like, this is pretty fun. Oh my god, we're getting slaughtered here. Pop! Crap, I'm trying to dodge that crap. Oh, ho, ho. the MVS ever drive wasn't so expensive. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, 
Boom. Uh oh, what's coming? What's coming? so hard to like pay attention to all this going on at once. Why does it say KO danger? Was it really that much in danger? You biatch. You gotta like watch out for the crap coming from the other side. Dude, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. About to be KO'd. About to be KO'd. Damn. All right, let's get out of there. Little Samson on the NES. That's a pretty good game. All right, we'll we'll play one more. We'll play one more. What are we gonna play? I would say Samurai Showdown, but I've played like way too much Samurai Showdown. Now yeah, we're gonna do Super Dodgeball. Love that game. Sengoku Three is awesome, dude. I love that game. <laughs> Nosh doesn't want to feel left out. Part of you does, you know, knows it's a scam, but part of you wants to put the money down because you don't want to feel left out when everybody's complaining about never receiving their order. <laughs> oh man, gaming and still life. Yeah, if you have them, they should work on here, no problem. Can't ever play too much showdown. That is true. That is true. But I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. Popcorn lung coming your way, bro. Just saying. Sure it is, man. After ten years of vaping. 10 years of vaping, popcorn lung all of a sudden. I don't have any uh, diacetyl or any of that stuff in this juice that I'm vaping. Um, so, yep, popcorn lung. When the chemical that causes popcorn lung is not in this juice that I'm vaping, I'm going to get popcorn lung. <laughs> New showdown is going to be tight. Hells, yes it is. Press A button to shoot. Okay, we got that. Press B button to pass. C button to jump. Okay. D B to dodge. A and B at the same time to boost power. D button to provoke. Oh my god, there's like so much going on here. Dang, look at that manly woman. Look at that beast. There we go. <laughs> Who plays dodgeball in a trench coat? Let me see if I... I've played this quite a bit, but I can... Like, never remember the, um... Oh, 
Do the power attack. How do you do a power attack? Pass the line, Smokey. Over the line, Smokey. Satheus, Satheus. Yes, this is an original uh, Neo Geo AES. I'm using a flash card at the moment. I can try to show you. I don't want to screw anything up. Let me see if I got it on stream or not. But yes. Let me see. Uh, can you guys see that? Yes, it's Neo Geo AES. I don't want to hit reset, damn it. Neo Geo AES. There's my memory card. Now I'm getting my ass whooped. Let me set this down, try to set it down gently. Got it right the third time. I don't even know. I don't even know which one I said, bro. Get over. Oh, take that. I duck, man. Let me make sure I got this up. Oh, damn it. Did, he, did I get knocked out? Yes, I did. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, bitch. Ooh. Oh. Don't want to fall down that rabbit hole. I feel you on that, man. How do I do the power move? How do I do the, Somebody Google real quick. How do I do the power move? <laughs> oh, how did that bitch farted on me? Oh, no. They got me. You want to find one at a yard sale? <laughs> Good luck, man. Oh. Let's do this. Versus that big woman. That sounds like a man. Me? Move. 
Half circle on A. Half circle forward in A. Got it. Oh. Oh, it marked your- it marked it at a, a spam, so I didn't see that at first. What the hell? Baseball Stars 2. We'll play that another time. I'm um, probably going to end the stream very soon here. We've been streaming for about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I was planning on just streaming until 1130 and we're already past that, but we'll play for a short while longer. Fun, there you go. Ooh, no. Damn. Damn. Thanks uh, for letting me know how to do the special. Oh, you should fart it on me again. Now it's just a nerdy dude. Oh. Get up! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, you lose that fucker, man! The 161 and 1 is good, but there's some issues with some of the games on there. I, I think it's like preferable to have the Unibios 4.0, which you probably have um, if you're using the 161 and 1, so it can uh, filter out all the, the, the garbage games. But I had the 161 and 1 cart, but I uh, traded it. Traded it away. But, yeah, I think it's time to end it. We did two streams today, almost three hours of streaming, which really isn't much, you know, but I'm, I'm getting to be an old man here. <laughs> um, but I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Oh, I didn't get to choose to save, darn it. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, sharing some of this stuff with you guys. Not just streaming, just to stream, you know, that's cool too, to hang out, but to kind of showcase some stuff as well, like the stuff with the Neo Geo Mini, or even this. Um, you know, the Neo SD I thought would be kind of appropriate to show. Old Man Pixel, that's right. But, like I said, just to briefly sum it up before we go, the Neo SD is a very cool flash cart. There is a pro version eventually going to come out. Uh, the way this works is you flash a game to memory, and then you can instantly load it just like it's a normal cart. If you want to change games, you have to erase the, the game that's flashed, and then flash that new game. So some games can take a little while, some games are fairly quick. Um, and there's a lot of little options. You can have it where the system just boots straight to whatever game you have flashed. This, the system or the game, the cartridge, the Neo SD, you could have it boot to just this menu so you could select what you wanna do. A lot of cool little features, but definitely not for somebody who is impatient 
Um, I think when the Neo SD Pro eventually comes out, that's going to solve a lot of the problems. I'll put a link in the description once this is uploaded to a pretty sweet video from uh, uh, Todd. don't remember his channel's name right now, but he has a pretty sweet video showcasing the Pro version versus this version. Um, and it, it, it's going to be a game changer, but who knows how much that's going to cost. Uh, I love having this. I'm not like crazy on, oh, I got to keep changing games because I do have a handful of games already. But it is pretty nice. It's an expensive flash cart, $500. But to have access to the full library of games, you're looking at like, what, a quarter million dollars? I don't know. A lot of freaking money for sure. Maybe not a quarter million, but a lot of money, man. Like house money for sure. Uh, with some, you know, once you add everything up, you, there's games here that are worth thousands upon thousands of dollars. Um, so I think it's worth it. I got lucky, had some deals that happened when I uh, decided to grab this, sold some consoles that I had doubles of, uh, some modded stuff and some games that I didn't need. And it was worth it for me. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Had it for a while. Hadn't busted it out the stream or anything. Um, yeah, some of those games are a lot of money, dude, for sure. Definitely more than I can afford. But with that said, guys, I really do appreciate you stopping in. We'll probably stream again within the next couple days. I don't know if I can stream tomorrow or not, but if I can, I'll be here. So thank you, guys. Smash that like button. Do all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter. We're going to be doing some stuff there pretty soon. I don't have that many followers on Twitter. Got into the game really late. You know, it is what it is. But... Thank you, guys. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Thank you. Stop streaming.